Hey Trello friends, welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can make Slack your central hub for notifications from Trello. So if you're anything like me and you tend to use Slack a lot day to day and it's really your central source of information and chats and messages and that kind of thing and Trello you also use and sometimes people tag you in a Trello card um, and they want your they want your attention or they want you to look at something then I find personally that I do sometimes miss these. Um, maybe I'm getting too many emails from Trello or I'm just not checking the notifications in Trello itself. But if I could get a notification in Slack, I know I'm gonna see that straight away and I'm not gonna miss it. So this isn't built in to Trello or Slack, but you can integrate the two to make them talk to each other. It requires a little bit of setup, but I'm gonna show you just how to do it now. Step by step, easy. So you'll need a little, like 10 minutes of your time or so to set this up once. And then once you've done that, you can apply it to all the Trello boards that you have and hopefully never miss another message again. So if that sounds interesting, then stick around and keep watching. Okay, so here we are on our demo board and this is where I'm gonna try and set this up for you guys. So first thing to know is there are kind of three main areas that you could be tagged on a Trello board. And the probably the most common one, so the one I'm gonna focus on for today, is where you get tagged in as a comment. So I think that's more likely people are gonna add you there. You might also be added in the description. You can be tagged like that as well. Um, and finally, you can also, actually this probably is the most common of the, of the options, you can be added as a member. So we can set up three different Butler rules in order to cover all of these bases. And hopefully with that, then you won't miss a notification. Right, so I mentioned earlier that this isn't built in. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add the Butler app to Slack. So now we're in Slack. We need to go down to this, which says add apps. And here you can search for any app that you want to add. So you can see these two have appeared up the top because I've already been looking for them recently, but there's two. So you don't necessarily want the Trello one, uh, though you can add that for other reasons. But in this case, we're going to look for the Butler one and it's Butler by Trello. So click on this and then I've actually already got this added, but there'll be a few steps to follow here. Just uh, click add app and then you'll be taken through and you just need to authenticate it. Uh, you may need to get permission from your Slack admin if, you have, if you're not that person, um, but it should be pretty quick otherwise. Okay, so now we've got that. The next thing we need to do is we want to set up a channel for these notifications to come through to. Now you could send these to a, an existing channel. So let's say you have a channel for your team, you can do that. Um, but personally, I've created my own channel just so then I don't spam everybody with things and these are only notifications for me. So I create my own one. And if you are new to Slack, then you may not know how to add channels, but so if you click look at under channels here, there's a plus, so just add, then you can create a new channel, give the channel a name, Trello notifications, for example, that's what I named mine. And I would make it private if I was you, just so then others won't join it as well. And then hit create. And here is one I made earlier. So this is my notifications channel. You'll see there's a few, a few things going on in here. Um, and this is where we will send things through to. Okay, so then when you are in your new channel, uh, this is actually one I just created new, so I can show you this from scratch. So if you click over here on this I, what we're gonna need to do is we need to add Butler to this channel. So although it's a private channel just for you, we do still need to have Butler in there, otherwise it's not gonna be able to send the notifications to, to the channel. So if we just search for Butler and then click add, and there you go, now you can see uh, I've joined this channel along with Butler as well. That should now all be set up. Let's head back to Trello and set up the rest of the automations over there. So now we're on our board and we're gonna head across to Butler up here. And what we want is a rule. So by the way, I'm gonna assume you've used Butler before. If you haven't, then uh, check out some of the other videos that we have uh, about Butler and that will help you get started. So, I mentioned earlier that there are three times where you might be tagged in a, in a card. 
Uh, there may be more, but I'd say these are the ones that are most common. So I'm going to cover these off for now. If there are others, let me know and we can try and figure that out for a future video. Um, but the, probably the first one to start with would be when you are added to a card as a, a member of that card. So that's this middle one here. And you can see the full rule in written out here. So when I'm added to the card, post the message to Slack uh, that you were added uh, with the name of the card and a link to that card by the person who added you to the Slack channel Trello notifications in the correct workspace. And it's going to be posted as Butler rather than myself. So I'll show you how to create this. Okay, so the trigger when we want the card changes one here. So when I am added, could use that one, but I think it's safer and better if you use your actual username added to the card and or add to any card. You can add some filters here if you need to. Um, you could say it's only by a certain person um, or on a certain board or, or all kinds of things, but let's just keep it simple. So that's our trigger. And then the action we want to run here is over on the Slack side and we need to post uh, whatever message we want. And then we want to find our channel and it's in that workspace and we're going to post it as Butler. So when it comes to the message, you want to add something that's going to be helpful to you. So in this case, I'm going to show you what I've added before and I'm just going to copy and paste this in, but I'll explain what it means. So it will say you added to this card and then it's going to include this is a variable and there are a list of variables on a page which I'll link in the description below, but this is the right one you need for this. Trigger card name, as this is the card that we've that has triggered this action. And then I've just done a little arrow here to point to the link, and that'll be a link, a hyperlink to the Trello card. So you can read the message and see which card it is and click straight on it and go go view that card. And you'll get the information here about who added you to the card as well. And that's it, simple as that. So we'll press add and then save. And now we can test this. So if I just add myself to a card, just press space there, that adds you. Okay, and so now I'm in Slack, you can see that in our notification uh, channels, we have some notifications. Uh, it's done it on both actually, because I have them turned on, but let's just look at the one we have set up there. So, and now we can see in this channel, it's sent me a message saying, you add this card. That was the name of the card test. Here's a link to that card and I added it, added myself. So there you go. But if someone else had added me, that's where it would have appeared. Okay, so that's that first one. Now let's go and have a go at one of the, probably the second most common time you'll be added. And I would say that's when someone adds you in a comment. So that's this one here. So when I mentioned in a comment, post a message, that person on my teammate, mentioned me in a comment on the card and there's the name of the card and a link to that card. And the comment was insert the comment text and there's a link to the comment as well if I wanna go direct to there. And it will be sent to the usual channel. So that's a preview. Let's create it. Okay, so for this one, we want to head over to card content and then this bottom one down here. So when someone, so let's do me, when I am mentioned, in a checklist or a comment or just so a checklist actually that's another one we could do so we just duplicate this process for checklists if you wanted to cover that base as well but we're going to do comments on this one and we're going to come to description in a second and that's it so again you could add some more filter filters but i won't for now so that's the trigger and then on the action again we're going over to slack and we're going to post a message we're going to have our same notification channel and we'll do it as Butler. And here is the message we're going to post. So again, it looks a bit complicated, but I'll, I'll leave this um, text in the description below. So you guys can just copy and paste that straight in if you want to. So we're going to go for, so username mentioned me, you in a comment, and there's the card name, card link. And this for, uh, is backslash n just means new line. And the comment was, and this will be the text of the comment. Again, another new line. And then comment link. 
was there in case you want to click straight on that link and go and uh, view the comment directly. Okay, so that should be it. Then we'll press add and there we go. We'll hit save. And again, we can give this a test. So let's head down to the comments and add a comment. But we also need to tag ourselves in this comment. And once again, here we are, we're in, in our notifications channel within Slack and you can see that I was mentioned in a comment on the card test. There's a link to it. The comment was, hey there, at my name. And there's the comment link as well. So you can click on that and go straight through. So there you go, that's the second one done. Okay, and now finally we'll do the third one. As I said, you could do a fourth for um, for checklists if you are added to a checklist. If you if you tend to use those a lot, feel free to just do this for those again. Um, and right, this one is a little bit different. So for this case, I've done when in the description it contains Dan, my name then I'm gonna post the message. So I didn't use my username here because I might not be tagged necessarily within the description, but I believe you can use uh, the username, but I wanted to cover a little bit of a broader case and it does work as well. Okay, so now let's create that one. And we're gonna add this trigger. Again, we want card content. In this case, we're going to use this one up here. So when the description of a card and I'm going to say contains with and I've just used my name in this case but you could do whatever you like and that's the trigger and then again as with the other ones we're going to slack we're going to our channel and that's butler and for the message we'll paste this one in but again you could customize this however you like. So when someone on your team uh, mentions you in the description on the card, there's an, the name of the card and a link to it, new line, the mention was, and there's the description of the card. And we'll just add that and there you go. So save. And now let's give this a try as well. So in the description, so I've just not tagged myself or anything, but my name is in there. So that is what we've asked Butler to look out for. And here we go again, if we look in our notifications channel, there we have it. So I was mentioned in the description on the card test, there's a link to it. And the mention was, Dan, please check this card. Okay guys, so that's it. That's how you connect Slack and Trello so you can get those at notifications coming through to your Slack channels, nice and easy. Um, so yeah, as I said, once you set that up once, you can then enable that, but those Butler commands on your multiple boards, so you can have that keeping an eye on things for you uh, at all times. That's just one example of how you can use this. There are others um, that you can try out, so get creative. If you do something uh, interesting, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. If you enjoyed this, if you found it interesting and useful, then uh, please give it a like, and we'll be doing more videos just like this around Slack and Trello and automation in general. Uh, so do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon as well if you want to be notified as and when we roll out new videos. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.